Hi, everybody. In this video, I want to explore a topic that I first saw on the DeFi forums, and that is using an emissive plane to light your scenes. We're going to take a look at a simple scene and see how it looks under a variety of different lighting conditions, and then compare and contrast and see which one works best. We'll also look at whether it's viable to light your entire scene using just an emissive light. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, everyone. So here we are with our basic SketchUp scene. And this is just a pretty simple setup just to give you an idea of what we're working with and how the scene was constructed. Now, let's bounce over to D5. All right, so here you can see we have a number of scenes set up within D5. Each has a slightly different lighting parameters and paradigm and effectively just different lighting types. And let's take a look at these really quickly. And then more importantly, let's look at the results and see kind of the strengths and maybe the weaknesses of each. Now, please note, we are not going for a very complicated lighting setup here. The ultimate thing that we're going for is just, can you light your scene, and particularly a shot like this, using just an emissive material? So understand, we're not going for like a multi-point system with all sorts of aerial lights and crazy HRIs. We just want to see the effect of an emissive plane as a comparison compared to the other lighting setups. All right. Scene one, basically a very simple lighting setup. We have a HDRI sky set to a very low intensity. Now, in this version, I have made sure that the light is not pointed directly on the scene. This is just ambient light and seeing how that actually looks. Now, scene two features a very, very small rectangle light. This is the standard rectangle light that comes with, it's effectively just in uh, this guy here, this rectangle light. And it's set to an intensity of 25. We click back on scene two. You'll notice a couple of features, uh, particularly the shadows. And um, it tends to be obviously a lot brighter to the right. Now, strictly speaking, the attenuation radius should determine kind of the fall off. And I've set that to be really far. So it's kind of shoving light as far as it can. And you can see we're getting some pretty stark shadows. Now, the next scene is basically... Ignore the naming convention here, scene four. This is technically scene three. It's the same. It's a rectangle light, but it's a much bigger one. It's a flat plane. And you'll notice the intensity is quite low. We did two versions of renders with this, one with the intensity at 25 and one with the intensity at five. But overall, it's just a giant flat plane shooting uniform light straight out. And all in all, looks pretty okay. Now, lastly... Uh, we have just a couple more that I want to mention. This is technically scene four. Again, ignore that. And this is our emissive plane right here. You can see it's a huge, just flat plane rotated, and there's an emissive material. If I hit I on my keyboard to sample it, you can see the emissive intensity is set to 20, and the color is just pure white, just flat white plane. And we'll examine that next. You will also notice that it does not look really very good, per se, in the viewport. It's it's a little bit... Eh. It has gotten better since D5, the older versions of D5, and I think that's partially because of the new global illumination that I think does two, two bounces, I believe, is what it does. And so it does look a little better. Now, scene five is basically this kind of a similar thing. It's the emissive material... Uh, oh, sorry, it's emissive plane with a HDRI as well. If we go back to our environment, very low level HDRI. So we can just get the best of both worlds. And the last one we want to talk about is just this scene six. And in scene six, we have the same default HDRI, just the kind of light cloud one, but I have pivoted it so that we are getting more shadows and I've kept the kind of intensity about the same. So you know, this is a more kind of traditional way that you would light up your scene in D5 using a HDRI. Okay, with that being said, let's take a look at the end results. And again, what we're looking at is really the quality of using just the emissive plane. Okay, so here we are in my uh, folder. This is where I, I exported the renders out. Please note, these are all 4K renders and they took about a minute-ish. Okay, let's run through these. Um, I'm going to start with the HDRI only. So this was the original HDRI, just set 
where we're really it's not facing the scene and this is just pure ambient light sort of soft light it's not again terrible none of these renders are overall terrible they're maybe just not great um the issue here you can see is it's it's very flat it, it is a very blue hdri and there's no highlights and no real shadows it's just flat and doesn't look great okay now if we compare that to the hdri only which is the the same hdri just targeted yeah it is better you're definitely getting shadows coming in and you know all in all objects look pretty good this section is still blown out a little bit too much it's 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 sort of the exact opposite really of the hdri on its own which is ambient lighting and that's really just that here it's flat just in a in a different way there's not enough variation in light for this okay well, let's look at the small square light because this is where i think we're getting into these more dramatic shots and i i do like this you can see there's more light on the far right and the shadow over here on the left is a little too dark and the shadows if you look at this centerpiece object here um they're kind of a little bit pronounced and the shadow behind this is really pronounced so the small square is is not ideal let's look at the large square and i'm going to move to the left here so this is the large square light this was set at about an intensity of 25 the same as the small square light you can kind of see um the attenuation radius was the same both were set to technically as far as the light can go so this is the large square light and this is the large square light at a much lower intensity so the small one it's it's overall just too dark the large one you could argue this is a hyper or overexposed over here on the right it is looking i think better but it's still the the right side is just now way too blown out and overexposed and i don't think you could fix that in photoshop um, you, I mean, you can fix overexposure a little bit, but you're better off not having to be in that situation anyway. Now, if we look at the large square light again, but this time with the intensity much lower, I think it's a better render. But overall, because the square lights, those kind of effectively those area lights, are emitting light with a form of fall off, which is the attenuation, you're still getting a really pronounced hot spot closer to the light. And then as you get further to the left, the you get kind of the proper shadows. So I think this area looks really, really nice. And you're getting some nice highlights. It's just you have to drop the intensity of the light really low. All right. So this brings us to the emissive. And uh, yeah, um, I really, really like this. I think it looks really, really good. So there's some stuff that we should point out, though. The areas right over here, uh, let me just, if I can zoom in a little bit, there we go. These are picking up a huge amount of specular light. They're, the emissive light is right there. But look at how good the shadows look. And I think this object right here just looks absolutely superb. You're not getting the excessively pronounced shadows that you got using the square or area lights. It just looks nice. Now, the darks also look really dark in this. Um, I'm not sure where that's coming from. It's possible that in the absence of overall HDRI style light, um, you don't get, basically the HDRI is not sort of projecting light onto surfaces. So the black areas look really, really dark. It almost looks sort of intentionally Photoshopped. And I think the chair here looks really nice with those specular highlights. I think the end result is really, really, really good. But let's look at two more variations. Okay, so I did um, also do the emissive and HDRI. So this is the same massive emissive plane, just with the H with a HDRI turned on. It's the same HDRI, the same light skies. I don't honestly, I don't love it to be honest. Um, you are getting some of the same effects, but remember, we just mentioned with the HDRI gone, these darks were a lot more vivid. Let's take a quick look, toggle between these. Emissive and HDRI on the left, emissive only. Emissive and HDRI on the left, and emissive only. Honestly, the, the best result is probably a blend of both of these. Maybe bring them into Photoshop and get maybe the best of both worlds. This does give you more interesting specular highlights. It definitely does. You're, you're getting color from the HDRI being projected onto your scene or bounced around your scene is probably a better way. But the overall look of this, the shadows and the darkness in this is just really, really great. Now, the last one we did was... 
I think it was this HDRI only, and it was targeted, and don't really love it. Simple as that. Okay, so with that being said, to my mind, the emissive plane only gives an incredible result. Now, I have not tried this, though, with multiple emissive planes. And one caveat that I did see on the DeFi forum about this post, the original post that got me to look at this, was that the viewport does not necessarily depict what you're going to get in the final render. And that is kind of strange to me, but there you go. Now, this brings us to the end question, though, is, is can you light your scene using just an emissive plane? And I'm going to say yes, but with a couple of caveats. The first is that, yes, you, you can light your scene if your scene is going to be something like this. In other words, if you're going to do a shot, maybe it's a furniture shot or maybe it's a singular kind of dramatic shot. And, and I do love doing kind of things like this, just making simple scenes and seeing them in D5. Yeah, you can absolutely light your scene with an emissive light. Could you light an entire scene uh, or, you know, an interior that has windows perhaps or an exterior? No, uh, absolutely not. I, I do think the results are fantabulous. I really do like them. But it has an extremely limited use case. If you're doing furniture or product shot, I would definitely take a look at this. And if I do any more product shot videos in D5, I probably will add the emissive light as a, uh, really just as an alternative render style. I think it looks really, really good. But overall, can you use this to light an entire scene? No, but I do think maybe blending between the emissive with the HDRI, you could get a pretty nice result. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for today. Uh, if you do try this out, uh, please send me an email or just post a comment down below. And if you've made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.